Today is a historical video and it's something that I was asked what is Wessex? Today we think of the United Kingdom since the last 10 years you get regional areas you get first minister of Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and we look on this as something new it isn't if you think of England as a series of tribal areas this is where we come so you have East Anglia you have Northumbria Mercia then of course Wales is a separate country even Cornwall and Devon were sort of borderline it's sort of like kingdom mini kingdom Mercia was quite a large area Wessex bordered to it tended to be the south of the country Mercia in the middle East Anglia where Norwich and places like that are then of course up in the north you have Northumbria there was even an area called Dalriada which sounds very nice but it sort of hangs down from Northumbria but Wessex has a particular resonance throughout history if we think we think of the Vikings coming over here in their long ships burning eventually they came to settle from 793 they went as raiders and were traders and then they decided England's pretty wealthy he looks pretty good we're going to settle so you've probably heard of Jorvik which was the capital or York as we now know it and they pushed southwards the kingdoms fell East Anglia Mercia uh, Wales sort of kept out of it until they came to Wessex Wessex was the only area that stood Alfred had one aim and that is to have a united kingdom which was quite revolutionary at the time he was forced back by Viking raiders to the Isle of Athelney Athelney is an island in the middle of a marsh but is the Isle of the Althings which are princes so symbolically he made a stand they had we found iron workings on there and etc eventually he got the armies the feud to meet at an oak tree and they went on and they beat King Guthrum in a battle they beat him but they didn't totally defeat him Guthrum was forced then to become a Christian swearing never to attack again which he broke his promise very quickly but Alfred had united the country as far as he could setting up defense areas called burrs ruling from Wessex Wessex became the pivotal point unlike the Romans he didn't build a wall because if you build a wall you've got to have a whole standing army to protect it burrs are rallying points time went on Alfred died his daughter Athelflaed and his son Edward the Elder would take the fight to the Vikings ultimately uniting the country King Athelstan was the first Rex Anglorum, King of England. So you see, Wessex is the fulcrum of modern society. Without Wessex, we would probably be speaking a form of Norwegian or something like that, who knows? But history wouldn't be like it is today. King Alfred was uh, very resolute in what he did, and quite rightly, he's known as Alfred the Great because he did great things. His daughter Athelfleet, a particular heroine of mine, she gets a footnote in history which is sad. Edward the Elder, again, unless you're into history and archaeology, you've probably never heard of any of these people. But Wessex, we even had the Wessex Regiment in the British Army as tribute to it. Might have got the Mercians as well. However, Wessex was an important standpoint and some might say it's a definition of being British. You push us so far and then eventually it's, no way, we're going to fight you. And the Vikings certainly knew that it had been fought. As I say, the various areas, it was poor, I don't know whether you, I prefer to call them tribal lands. But as I say, it was that that united eventually the whole of England. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've certainly enjoyed telling you about it. I hope that you'd like to subscribe. If so, press the old bar and subscription bell. If you haven't enjoyed it, let us know. But let us know why. Constructive criticism is welcome. 
if you have questions maybe you'd like to ask a question or so or expand upon a question that's already been asked let us know it does take time i'm sorry but there's not many of us and there's a lot of you but we will scouts on it get back to you as soon as we can we'll be only too glad to hear from you and like i say if you have any ideas or questions on history and archaeology we'll do our best to answer them for you it's really fun to hear from people especially from abroad i hope you enjoyed it i've enjoyed telling you till we meet again stay safe and make the world a happier place goodbye <laughs>